time that we'd like to highlight to our viewers that JSW Infra could be looking to launch a QIP. This is what Vivek has picked up from his sources. He joins us for more. Vivek. Well, that's right. Uh, very interesting development that we are picking up from our sources as far as uh, JSW Infra is concerned. We understand that the company is contemplating a significant uh, fundraising plan, and we understand that the route that the company may choose to go for uh, for this particular fundraise could be via the QIP route, like we mentioned. We understand that the company may look to raise a little over 5,000 crore in the first tranche of the fundraising. Uh, what is it that the company is looking to raise funds for? Sources indicate that there will be two key primary reasons for which the company is looking to go ahead and do a fundraise. Number one, remember recently the company went ahead and announced uh, significant capex plans of of almost uh, 2,350 crore to go ahead and raise capacity of some of its key ports. Along with that, also remember, you know, JSW Infra is a recently listed company. Uh, the company continues to have promoter shareholding well in excess of 75%. Uh, so this particular equity dilution that will happen on account of the QIP will also help bring down the promoter shareholding. So that's another reason that the company is actually contemplating that could go ahead and make the company choose to go for the QIP route rather than any other mode of fundraise. We also understand that, remember, uh, number one, the company has uh, publicly said that they are looking to target uh, a capacity of close to 400 million tons per annum. The current capacity is close to 170 million tons per annum. Uh, remember, SEBI's rules also indicate that the promoter stake is likely to, uh, needs to be below 75 percent within three years of listing. Uh, at the end of Q1, the promoter stake stood at 85.6 percent. So there needs to be a significant amount of dilution uh, that needs to happen in order for the promoter shareholding to meet the SEBI norms by the end of three years. Uh, recently, there was a note uh, you know, by BNP Paripa as as far as JLW Infra is concerned, they've also highlighted that you know one of the routes uh, uh, to go ahead and meet CAPEX require requirements could be the QIP route, and they actually believe that uh, there could be close to 9,000 crore equity fundraise. And along with that, with this equity, the company will be able to go ahead and fund additional growth capex of close to 25 to 30,000 crore rupees. They believe the successful fundraise can go ahead and add almost 100 rupees per share if it goes through successfully, and the company can go ahead and demonstrate an ROC of 18% and up. Okay, all right. Thank you so much for bringing us those uh, important details, uh, Vivek. So, JSW Infra, that stock remains in focus. Time for a short break now. On the other side, we speak to Jagan Narayan Padmanabhan from uh, Crystal over the government's move to overall highway toll collection rules to understand that and what the impact could be.